Hey YouTube, welcome to Herbie's Reef. Today we finally are getting to the video of the um, update on this torch tank. We got all the torches moved over and they're all doing really well. We um, had been going through an episode in the last tank where we were losing heads of some of our torches and um, and so as we moved them over we dipped them all and I did a treatment with Kimmy Clean because some of the torch experts in one of the groups I'm on say that if you routinely treat with Kimmy Clean, it helps with those bacterial type infections that torches seem to like to get. And uh, everything's looking great. So uh, we've got this one spot in the top that we just purchased a TCK Master Torch for. And that it, it, I think is gonna be very similar to the TSA Holy Grail that we had before. Um, it has a longer tentacle than this Aqua SD Holy Grail and it uh, is, I mean they're both endo but it's more of the form of a regular endo. This one it doesn't tend to get the really long tentacles but, uh, but the other one's a darker green not this bright brilliant super bright green. Um, anyhow I'm gonna have Emily just kind of pan around the tank a bit and show you guys all these torches. We've uh, moved them kind of in order to try to put colors together that will um, offset each other. And then uh, this one right here is one of our favorites because it just has these crazy tentacles. This one is super long. And I don't know if that's due to it, just the way it likes the flow or if that's the type of torch it is. I'm not sure, but we do love that torch. And um, then this one is supposedly what's left of our 24K. We almost lost all of these 24K torches and um, this one managed to, it, we lost one head of it and then this part of the head has survived after dipping and everything. So we're hopeful it'll make it out and that we'll be able to keep it and it'll grow, but it's tiny right now. And then uh, next to it is the, this one is a Cherry, I mean a Kelly Kids. They just called it an Ultra Endo, but its colors are really amazing. Kind of like a Hellfire, I think, like a high-end Hellfire coloration. Um, and then above that's the 21 tails. And then as we go down, this one is a new New York Knicks. We got this one directly from Cherry Corals and this is the nicest one we've had yet. The other one we got, we had that I do think was a true New York Knicks uh, came from Kelly Kids and we lost that in the issues we were having with the bacterial infections. It just overnight died, um, which torches can tend to do. But this one has, so far is looking great and we're we're hopeful that it will stay that way. And then down here, this is one, I don't know if this one's Indo or Aussie, but it's a brilliant super green torch. And we like it a lot. And then as we go around the side, you get a whole new view on this tank. It's got another arch and we made it where you can view it easily from both sides. Um, and this is a, uh, that is the Cherry Corals Golden Torch. And we had it a lot bigger. It was about the size of the 21 tails before, but it also had issues with that bacterial problem we had, so it had to be cut up. And we saved most of the heads. We really only lost one head on it, but I dipped it and cut up. I had to cut out the bad head, and it was right in the middle of the colony, so we just went ahead and saved those other heads in the frag tank, and we'll sell them later as long as they're still looking good in a month or so. And then below that, this is an Indo green that we got from Cherry Corals. We went ahead and uh, put that one in the order while I was doing the New York mix. So we're, it, it's a nice one. It's a little bit darker than that uh, other green I just showed you, but I hope it'll get really long tentacles eventually. And then this one is our gold torch. And that one was the one that suffered the most from the bacterial infection. We lost probably three heads of that one. And then I have about four or five more in the frag tank. So it's one of our lower end torches, so we decided just to put a small piece in this tank because we're gonna run out of room quickly. And I think that's all of them. I, I'll uh, go ahead and show you. We, we use these Reef Bright strips. These are the extra high output Reef Brights, and we've got it set up to where it's got um, three that are just the actinics, and then these two are 50-50s, and we have the the 50-50s off for the video just because the torches colors show up prettier in the blues. But uh, it, I really, really like this light. I, I don't think Bulk Reef Supply oversold it. I was afraid when I ordered it that maybe all their videos were uh, over the top on how great this light is, but 
my par measurements in this tank are just so even and the colors pop like this uh, this holy grail I just can't tell you how much brighter it is in this tank than it was in the other tank under the radions and the t5s it, it's crazy and it gets these nice purple tips on it and everything's just colored exactly how the, the pictures you see are under these reef brights so I think they're my new favorite lights if they were cheaper I would put them on every tank I own but for now that'll be a slow transition um, also once we put these reef brights on this torch right here which we picked up for 30 bucks it's an endo and I forget what they call it um, but anyway it's got just a bright green base and these bright green tips and it's almost a black color in the tentacle area um, it's quickly becoming another one of my favorites just because it's so unique and the parts that are bright are so bright and the parts that are dark are just uh, you almost can't see them so it's really a cool contrast of colors and then if I um, show you the sump or um, it kind of looks like a mess but this is actually the neatest sump I've ever had it's just it's hard to make your sump look super neat when you use an algae scrubber um, but I've got the Dostronic, or the Alcatronic here, and then the Dostronic here, and, and then this is the algae scrubber, and it's the ice cap one. In my other tank, I have the clear water one, but, and if I had it to do over, I would have purchased another clear water one, because the ice cap, I hate how there's no clear here, so I can't tell if the algae is growing without, I have to put my head all the way above this and lift this up in order to see if any algae is growing. Uh, so it's really a poor design and that's what I get for trying to go cheaper and then I just prefer to run a scrubber I mean a skimmer I don't know that I would need it in this tank with the algae scrubber but um, especially since we're gonna do Kimmy clean treatments every three months because that's what most big euphilia guys are doing and so I like to run a skimmer when when I'm treating with Kimmy clean because it can uh, deplete the oxygen out of the water so I got this Tunzi one um, because it fits in here it was the only one i could find that fits and i've been really happy with it it's crazy this thing pulls just an amazing amount of skimmate right from the beginning but it's not the quietest skimmer it makes kind of a gurgle noise a lot so that's the only negative i have to say about that one but other than that it's working great and i think that's it other than we can talk about fish a little bit we've got uh, this beautiful melanaris grass and he is the boss of the tank. He's probably the most aggressive Melanaris I've ever seen, but he's mainly aggressive when it's feeding time, and you can tell he likes to eat. Um, and then we finally have an another copper band, which we swore we wouldn't try again, but um, that was because in our aggressive tank, in our big one, it just seems like the yellow tang or the silphin tang would kill them every time. And I'm hopeful in this tank he'll make it. This guy eats really well, and he's a pretty aggressive little copper band, too. He fights with our Belagobi a lot. So I like to see a little spunk in a copper band. And then we've got these two clownfish, and these are the prettiest clownfish we have. I love these storm clowns, and they have a great personality. They don't bite me when I put my hands in the tank. And uh, they would eat right out of my hand, I think. But they're just so cute and always busy. And then our Bella Gobi seems to be hiding. Oh, no, here she is. Um, she has been a great addition. And you can't see with the blues. That's the only downside to the blues being on is she is not as pretty in the blues. But she, but uh, this one is just a brilliant pink-purple color. And I'm, I'm glad we tried her. She eats really well. So I feel like uh, she'll be a, a party fish for us. And we're really excited to have her. And I... Think. Oh, and as far as pumps go, we went ahead and purchased two of the new Nero 3s. So they're on the back wall. And these things are tiny. I don't love them. They don't produce the flow that the ten, Tensi pumps do. So we added this one on the back wall, which isn't the prettiest pump, but that thing makes the torches bounce just so well. Um, so between that and the Nero's, I, the movement's okay. I would. I don't know that I'd buy the Nero's again, though. And I will tell you guys, if any of y'all are considering them, they are not near as powerful as what people describe the Nero 5's as. So just beware that, um, that these are definitely not as powerful. But they do fine for this tank. Um, and I think that is it for this update. We're going to show you the Anemone tank next time. 
and what we're doing with it, and and then we're planning big changes on the big tank too. We're gonna add some SPS and possibly change up the aquascape and have all kinds of plans for it. So um, please continue to tune in and see all the progression with these tanks and let us know if you have any questions and, and please like and subscribe.